Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Shreen Purewal bringing you the latest real estate updates here in Victoria. All right, team, what are the hot topics these days? The hot topics these days are um, what's happening with interest rates, Shreen? Should I be investing in real estate? Should I be in investing in land? What should I be investing in right now? For most people, the position they are is wait and see, hold position. Okay, um, I compare it, and you've heard me say this over and over again, I compare it to the stock market, right? Whether the market is up, whether it's down, you're always going to have people buying and selling depending on where they are. If they need to be liquid, they're, or if you need a home and you're sick of renting, you want to move in, or if your rate on your great mortgage is coming up and you want to get in the market right now, um, or you're okay with paying a certain price, you need that foundation stability, you get into the market and buy. So when one person tries to give me, or I try to give someone one size fits all, it doesn't work that way. It's all on a case by case basis. But what I can do is give you guys the information, give you guys the tools, and you can decide for yourselves as best as you can, and I, we can talk it out together, what's the best best place to be. And I'll give you different examples and different scenarios of what my clients have asked me and what their situation is. Right now in Canada, well, especially here in Victoria, the rental market is crazy. Finding an affordable rentable place is difficult. So people are like, listen, I'm tired of this. I'd, I'd rather, you know what, get a condo, a cheaper condo, get into that market. And I'm telling you guys right now, um, sellers are still, you know, wanting the good times of last year, but they're starting to realize when their homes are sitting on the market for two months and they've done tons of showings and they're not getting any offers, they're now starting to listen to their realtor who's saying, you need to price to go or let's take it off the market. Especially what you're going to see now is inventories are going to drop in the next two months. Why? We're November. We're heading into the holiday season. People are tired. Sellers are tired of another showing, another showing. Unless the home is vacant, if it's owner occupied, they're going to get fed up and you're going to see some homes getting off the market now. And we are seeing it. I did a bunch of showings last weekend in the couch and area and two out of the eight showings were um the agent called me and says they're taking it off the market because they're tired of you know cleaning up and you know showing homes is not easy either for the seller they have to step out all the time and they've got all these strangers coming into their home during the flu season so it's understandable that you're going to see stock go down okay we're going to see stock go down uh demand i think i let's put inflation aside okay Housing, let's talk about housing, supply and demand and prices. Let's put inflation aside. Uh, let's put interest rates aside and let's just talk supply and demand. We still don't have enough supply over the next 10 years, okay? So so you've got, how I look at it is, um, I don't even know, this is, this is, this is the, the, the housing market right now, okay? It's the housing market here. You've got inflation driving it up. You've got interest rates on the other end pulling it down. And then you've got the housing supply demand issue tipping it back up. So you've got all these forces playing on this market and we're asking ourselves, is it going up? Is it going down? Is it going back up? So right now, because there's all these forces at play, we're seeing it do this. It's moving sideways. It's moving sideways. Um, and it's more, it's moving sideways and heading down. We're seeing this happen. Now come next year, come spring, we're going to see more supply come in the market. We're going to maybe see, you know, rental pressures now too. So that's another force on the housing market is I can't rent. Uh, the uh, rent is ridiculous right now. Interest uh, rental rates are high. Can I get in and buy? I'm going to see the condo market still stay strong. And, it, and what I mean with this is you're going to see prices cool down because I had one of uh, uh, the agents that I train because I train other agents and I coach them. And when they're doing offers, they come to me and say, Shreen, what should I do? And I guide them through the process. So one of the agents that I coach and I work with, he was saying, you know, Shreen, we put this offer on this home and uh, let's say the home, 
they wanted, I think they wanted 790. I said, uh, he says my, my seller is willing to pay, uh, 730. And I said to him, I said, nope, it's assessed at 690. Um, it's a two bedroom condo. Uh, we're going to assess values on some places. I said, start at 705. Okay. And stop at 720 where your seller wants to start because you'll look like a rock star. And in this market, buyers hold it. I said, do they have any offers? He said, no. I said, well, then he has had no offer. You're, he's getting your offer. They should work with you. Okay. So my point is that force now is that you don't have many people playing in the game. You're not competing. If you want this and you know the other person is getting nervous, that's the other thing. The sellers are getting nervous now. If you bring something in and they, you don't know where their mindset's at, they may work with you, okay? They may take what you want. But if it's not worth it for them and it makes no sense to them, they may not. But for the most part, I'm feeling now that there are those sellers out there who just want out. They want to move to Costa Rica. That's a big one, guys, because especially with this what's going on in the world of uh, extreme colds, extreme heat, floods, rains. We don't even know what's going on in the in the weather market. Let's put it that way. So so you have some who are like, I'm leaving Canada. Or I'm going to moving to Mexico. I've had clients of mine buy luxury home here and sell everything and move to Mexico and get twice as much and have beautiful weather. And they did send me photos recently and I was quite jealous. But anyways, um, so my point is there's some people who just want out and you can get lucky and you can get those homes. Okay, so now back to the forces at place and the market. Um, the future team, contact me. Let's talk it out. Let's discuss uh, what it is it that you're looking for. I'm excited. I'm meeting another client of mine who watches my YouTube channel and I love you guys and I thank you and I really appreciate your support. Um, I'm meeting you guys next week. And um, I'm excited to help you on your condo journey. I think the condo market, if it's in a great location, Saanich, downtown Victoria, you can't go wrong because those are areas that's close to work, close to the head offices, and there's always demand. Demand at the end of the day, for those of you who don't know, economist here, nerd, big time nerds, love studying data, and it's all comes down to yes the in economics they call it variables all these other variables but ultimately the name of the game is supply and demand and demand is always there why do they always say in real estate location 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 well it's because of demand 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 ultimately is the word of the day so without further ado happy saturday it's saturday here i'm heading out that's why you're gonna see me all dressed up i know in my other videos that uh, you don't see me always hair done and all that um and maybe this isn't really done up but for me it is uh but i'm heading out and i want to wish you guys a wonderful weekend and again um i have posted my information on the website if you have questions if uh if you have emails that you need to send out to me please do so when i find time you for those of you who emailed you always know this i respond to all of you and i love all of you and i believe in informing all of you to make the right decisions and another big thank you to all who support me and have been there for me. I really appreciate you and please spread the love, especially now we're going into the festive season and times are hard. Let's support each other and be there for each other. Take care, everyone, and be safe. Bye now.